Hey guys, this is Josh with Down to the Roots. I have everything gathered up to start my new worm bin, so I'm gonna make a video and just explain a little bit of how I do it. It's about a week before I plan on ordering my worms. You want to get your bed completely set up, damp bedding, food scraps and all, at least a week, if not two, before you order your worms. The worms work with the beneficial bacteria to break down the food scraps and the bedding and make the vermicompost. If you hydrate your shredded cardboard and throw your worms into it, they're gonna to want to leave. They don't like the sterile environment. They want the beneficial bacteria to help them break down the food. So you want to make sure that you start your bed at least a week before you order the worms. First bed that I ever set up, I put hydrated cocoa cora in a bin, threw the worms in it, and half of them tried to escape the next morning. Very heartbreaking. They did eventually settle in after the bed set for a while, but you'll have a better chance. And I've done better with my bins that I've done after that by setting up the bin before I order the worms, at least a week or so, and let the bedding age a little bit. My ingredients that I'm gonna use, I have my shredded cardboard. It's got a little bit of junk mail in it already, so I don't plan on adding any more to it from the beginning anyway. All I'm gonna do with it is hydrate it with my dechlorinated water. I just put this straight out of the tap into the bucket and let it sit for about four days and all the chlorine will evaporate out of it. I have my food scraps. They are chopped up a lot finer than I normally would because I want them to mix in with the bedding well and break down a little bit faster. That way they will be ready for the worms by the time I put them in there. And I have coffee grounds, used coffee grounds on the top of it. I have my eggshells that I processed. I made a video on them. You can go back and watch it if you haven't already. I'm putting them in the bed to help buffer the pH and give them a little bit of grit to break down their food. And this one is completely optional, but I have a cup of screened out compost that I'm gonna mix in with it or a live bedding. You don't have to use this but this has all the beneficial bacteria in it that the worms want to use, the worms want to live with. So it's best if you can use this, and I would recommend it, but it's completely optional. If you want to use it and you don't have the compost, you can use aged horse manure, or you can go out to your garden and dig up a few cups of your good moist garden soil. It will have the beneficial bacteria in it that you need. But like I said, completely optional. I want to use it because I have it. The food scraps have all of the bacteria on it that you need, but you might have to let it set an extra four or five days if you just use your shredded cardboard and your food scraps. So I'm going to inoculate it with beneficial bacteria by putting the compost in. I like numbers and ratios, so I'm going to give you the measurements of what I'm putting in here so you can duplicate what I'm doing if you want to but you can do any ratio just put your food scraps put your bedding in there it's, there's not an exact science to it if you put the bedding you put the food and it's the right temperature and moisture the worms will like it and they will thrive this tote is a tote that I plan on using it is a 19 gallon tote where's a sticker at it's a 19 gallon tote yeah, there it is. And it is roughly 12 inches deep. We will say it is a 20 gallon tote just to make the measurements easy. Because an extra gallon is going to be like a half inch in the bin, so it's not going to matter that much. But I am wanting about three inches of material in the bottom of this to start. And then you will build from that as you add more material and more bedding and more food to it. So in order to get that, three inches will go into 12 inches, which is how deep this bin is, four times. So 20 gallons divided by four is five gallons. So that means that I need five gallons of bedding in the bottom of this in order to give me my three inches. So I need a five gallon bucket full of bedding. <clears throat> so what I plan on doing is I'm gonna dump about half of that water into one of these other buckets. I'm gonna put my 
shred of cardboard in that water, wring it out after it's soaked up the water like a wrung out sponge because that's the moisture that you want. You want it to be wet but not soaking wet. You want it to be about like a wrung out sponge. And then I'm going to put it over into the other bucket until that bucket is full. So that will give me my five gallons of bedding. Okay, so I am going to do 10% of that in food scraps. 10% of five gallons is a half of a gallon or two quarts. So this is a two and a half quart mixing cup. I have it up to the two quart mark with chopped up food scraps and coffee grounds. And then to that, I'm going to add 5% live bedding. So like I said, completely optional. You don't have to use this. That's one quart, which is 5% of my five gallons of bedding. And then I'm going to add roughly a quarter cup of my um, ground up eggshells to help buffer the pH. I don't know what the percentage is of that, but quarter cup sounded good to me. So I'm going to set you up on a tripod here and I will show you how I rehydrate the bedding real quick. And then I'll get back with you and we'll mix up the bedding and the food and everything together and put it over here in my bin. Okay. <clears throat> I got it all set up. I'm going to put some of this water over into this bucket. Roughly half of it. And then I'm going to put my bedding over into it. Stir it around. Let it soak up all the water that it can. And do the same thing for this bucket. You have to let it set for just a minute before it'll soak up all the water. Then, all you do after it's soaked up the water is pull you out a handful of it, wring all the water out of it, see how much it was holding? Wring the water out of it so it's like a wrung out sponge. It's damp, but it's not soaking wet. It's exactly what the worms want. Wring out the water until it's like a wrung out sponge. Then all you gotta do is just keep doing that until you fill the five gallon bucket up. Or however much bedding you need for the size container that you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this until I get my bucket full and then I will get back with you and show you mixing in the food and the eggshells and everything.
Okay. There's five gallons of damp cardboard. That took me roughly about 10 minutes to fill that bucket. So now, all we have to do is mix that in with our food and live bedding. It'll be ready to set for the worms. This over here. Just to go over my ratios again, so you know what I'm putting in here and how much. I have five gallons of hydrated cardboard, shredded up cardboard. This went through my crosscut paper shredder. This is a 19 gallon tote. I'm needing roughly three inches of material in it. So five gallons will give me three inches of material in this 19 gallon tote. 10% of the five gallons is a half a gallon, which is two quarts of food scraps. So that's 10 part bedding to one part food scraps. And then 5% of that is gonna be my screen compost or any type of live bedding. You can use garden soil, screened horse manure, compost, anything like that. That's 5%, so that's 20 parts bedding to one part live material and then I'm going to put a quarter cup of processed eggshells for grit and buffering the pH. So what I'm going to do to start, since these have a lot of water in the bottom of them, I don't know if you can see that or not, I'm going to put a couple handfuls of dry bedding in the bottom of this bin to soak up any moisture. After you get it set up the next day, you can come back and dig down to the bottom. If you have moisture in the bottom of it, the next day, all you need to do is get you some more dry bedding and mix in with the bed and it will eventually soak it up so that you don't have any moisture in the bottom. You don't want any moisture settling in the bottom of the bin. If you are putting food scraps in it, which I'll explain this more whenever I get into the feeding videos. If you put food scraps in it that's moist you know they're going to have a lot of moisture coming out of them like cucumbers melons stuff like that you want to put down some dry bedding and then put your food down that way the dry bedding will soak up that food and not let it go on down to the bottom of the bin because if it gets damp in the bottom it'll end up going anaerobic and it'll smell really bad so i put a few handfuls just a real thin layer on the bottom you can see i'm going to dump in some of these food scraps Yeah, you know, wet and nasty those was. And I'm gonna put some of my live bedding. Go ahead and measure out my quarter cup. Probably not good breathing in this dust, even though it's organic. Put some of that in there. And then it's time for the damp bedding, which is kind of heavy. Put it in there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get gloves for this. You don't have to use gloves, but I don't like messing with nasty food if I don't have to. Okay. Toss this up a little bit. You wanna make sure you get the food scraps mixed into the bedding real good.
and your live baiting. And the rest of that. Mix it up really well. Put the rest of my dry up my damp bedding in there. Might not take all of that. I had it humped over a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here once a day, once every other day. I'm just going to toss this around some more. That way it stays nice and anaerobic. You're basically composting in this container right now is what you're doing. Even though it's got food scraps in it, it's got enough carbon material in it. Your browns mixed in with the greens, which is your food waste, that it's not going to smell real bad. If you put too much food scraps in it, it'll end up smelling really bad. Worm composting shouldn't smell bad. Yeah. It's a little bit more than my three inches, about four inches. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the rest of this in there. Get it stirred around. That's all you have to do. Like I said, stir it every so often. Once a day, once every other day. Give it about a week, maybe two weeks if you've not used a live bedding. And then order your worms and put them in it. They will love it. I will come in here tomorrow and check in the bottom of it. And if there's moisture in the bottom of it, I'll mix a little bit more dry bedding in with it. But right now that feels pretty good. You can squeeze it really hard and you don't get any moisture out of it. Just a drop or two, which is exactly how you want it to be. So, that's how I do it. By the time this settles down, and we get into it, you're gonna have about four inches, roughly, of material, three and a half, four inches. They will love this after it's set for about a week. So, that's how I do it. I'm gonna order my worms here in about a week. I'll make a video putting them in and then maybe an update video a day or so after just to let you know how they're doing. But if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment box below. Subscribe if you haven't already to follow this series. And thanks for watching. See you next time.